Ma, 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 what it do, broski? Bro, salute to everybody that came through, showed your boy love on the last video. We got another one. Look at my face, bro. Look at, look at, bro. What that? Well, what do we have here? Title of the video says, Miss Candace finna check this, the, 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 the woman who ran off with all the bread about the BLM movement. Look, I ain't finna talk y'all to death. Let me get up out of here and yeah, I put my thoughts and opinions on it. And y'all go ahead and hit that like button real quick for your boy real quick though. And let's get into it, man. Oh, uh, cut the music. Let's do it. Do you love Gantry? Uh, Here's how easily you can Of course we got to add. Get it out of here. Do you love Gantt charts? The same ad twice. Here's how yeah. You can build one and click it. Let's get it. Okay, so this is insane. In real time right now, Hello, I'm, trying I'm to watching uh, turn it Patrice up. Colors do a live claiming that I went to her property and demanded to speak to her. Um, and she's, I, I, I only way I can describe it is she sounds like she's really scared. Um, we're working on a documentary talking about all the funding pertaining to Black Lives Matter. Obviously, we know that Patrice and a lot of the founders purchased million dollars home, million dollar homes in white neighborhoods. Uh, they also purchased a Black Lives Matter property. So we went to the property and asked if there was anyone that we could speak to. Very politely, by the way, we've got cameras in tow. So there's no way she can. It's all on camera. And we just said, is there anyone we can speak to? Nobody asked us to leave. Um, the person went inside. It was just a white man that we saw outside that was providing security, which is super interesting because obviously. Patrice here is anti-police and so she's oh my god I think she's crying on this live pretending that she was harassed we like I said very politely to the guys or anyone we can speak to um, my name's Candace Owens we never went over the gate it was just me ringing the doorbell trying to speak to someone he said absolutely nothing he started just recording us and we said okay if there's no one we can speak to we're gonna leave um Patrice is pretending to be scared because she knows that this black lives matter lie is falling apart um and she doesn't know what to do i mean people are aware of the scam that is black lives matter she's intentionally limited the comments so you can't even comment on this post because i was going to comment and be like this is a complete lie and we have it all on camera in terms of what happened so what you are seeing right now is the face of a woman who is pretending she's afraid of right-wing pundits when in reality she's being exposed as a fraud who took millions used the faces of black people took millions of dollars to fund herself to fund her lifestyle to fund her girlfriend so bang 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 just want to make sure we all on the same page now she done caught the women on instagram crying and you know what i'm saying caught her she she ran off with the bread like she got everything lined up. She finna pull up on her. Oh my God. I'll just make sure we all on the same page. And adding a little bit of context for YouTube purposes. You know, you got to talk. And you know what I'm saying? Da, 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 da. Fair use and all that bullshit. Let's get to it. And to buy million dollar mansions in neighborhoods where no black people live. So Patrice, um, this footage that we this story that we're covering is a, a significant one i have always been interested in the fraud that is black lives matter your fake tears your crocodile tears about someone politely ringing your gate and speaking to your white security guard and and asking if there was anyone that i could talk to because i was covering the story um not really going to cut it patrice this is only going to commit me further to discovering the truth about what you have done with this funding black people died you used their faces to raise money you demanded that the policing be stopped. You demanded that police officers be defunded, but you've got a private security detail um, outside of million dollar homes. It just doesn't work this way, sweetheart. So um, the truth shall set you free or Candace Owens shall set you free, girl, because I'm about to tell the truth. All right, we're still filming. Bye. Hey folks, I'm just waiting for folks to come on. Um, hey everyone. Hey, hey everyone, it's been a while that I've been on here. Actually, I've been taking a break. Hey everybody, hey, hey. Oh my God, bro, I wanna roast the fuck out of this lady, but I'm not, I ain't gonna get canceled today. 
I ain't finna get canceled today. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe a little bit later this week. I ain't getting canceled today. Not on Sunday, but damn, I want to fly in that light up. Shit. It's good to see some of the team. Um, hey, folks. Welcome. Welcome. Whew. Um, I just want to say that I want to thank everybody. Um, thank you so much. Good morning. I love y'all. Um, it's been a hard, it's been a hard few weeks. Um, I first want to say, I want to thank everybody for just being, for the folks who've just been in my corner and have been so good to me. Um, for so many years. Um, I want to just stay, say that the last eight years, nine years in our movement has been hard and challenging and amazing and brilliant. And I'm specifically going through like a deep accountability process with the people I love and trust and love and trust me. Um, and uh, the right wing media and right wing pundits. Bro, fuck all that. What about the accountability for the bread? What them M's you ran there? Who who accountable for all them for all them rock of moly she ran up with that BLM shit, bro? What I'm talking about, man. Are creating a cr incredibly and have created an incredibly dangerous environment for me. Um, this morning I woke up to Candace Owens being outside of my house with a news crew. Um, she was demanding that I come outside. Um, and uh, when I looked at the video recording of what she was asking about, she was actually asking about the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation property. Uh, and for some reason, it seems like she thought my house was that. Um, it's unacceptable and it's dangerous. That oh, whoa, 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 wait. So she said the black, that, that, that property is like the headquarters for the black lives matter foundation that's not her house that's not where she lives it's just so you you just bought this big ass headquarters in this neighborhood for black lives matter and you don't actually live there okay okay so you think we stupid for real who the fuck she oh man them people who who them people who watch her right now gotta be dumb and say when well, you gotta be stupid to follow somebody who look like this anyway look at her that like, look at her face. I'm not looking. I'm not finna listen to a word that she says. Like, color has nothing to do with her, bro. Look at her face. She look like a liar. She look like she full of shit. Like the people that she's talking to and listening to her right now, boy, they, boy, some, some gotta be off with them folk. Anybody, any stranger, come outside of my house, but it's really unacceptable and dangerous. When Candace Owens, another black woman who is actually working as a part of a right-wing agenda comes outside of my house with cameras. See, you just said they came outside of your house with camera. Candace pulled up to the property that was bought with that Black Lives Matter money that you said <laughs> was, the, was the property for Black Lives Matter, the headquarters that is not your house. Which one is it? I just caught this bitch lying, bro. Did she just pull up your house or the headquarters? Because Candace said she pulled up to the property that was bought with all that Black Lives Matter money. And is that your house or the headquarters, bro? You on this motherfucker line like, I done caught your ass lying in less than 10 minutes. It's at the 9 minute, 30 second mark. I done caught your ass lying. So I know this lady, Candace finna run through your ass. I'm done talking, bro. I know y'all like, stop talking, stop talking. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I just want y'all to know I caught the bitch lying. Um, as you all know, I've experienced, and many of us have experienced death threats. Um, many of us are chil have children. Um... 
many of us are um, uh, super vulnerable. And uh, the fact that she's came outside my house and demanded things harassed me uh, is unacceptable. It is unacceptable. And I'm going to keep doing the work I need to do to make sure that I'm in right relationship with my community, but I'm not going to let the right wing and right wing pundit, pundits and media try to drive me against my community and have the community driven against me. I'm begging and pleading with all of you all to pay attention to what's happening to me and to many other people, many other leaders inside of this movement, pay attention to what's happening because what happened to me today has the potential to open up a floodgates, the floodgates of many other right-wing people that may next time be bearing arms, that may next time be more violent. This is unacceptable. Black people should be able to fight for our rights, for our right to live without being harassed, without being, um, fe without fearing for our lives. Very true, but you can't go running up millions and buying goddamn properties and get mad when somebody check you about it. You're fucking insane. This lady is fucking crazy. She look crazy. She sound crazy. You can't go run up millions and act when, and get mad when somebody asks you about it. Especially if your ass in the wrong and damn sure don't go, go throwing the black card in this shit. That just pissed me off. That's just black people. No, no, no. You're a fucking scammer, lady. Don't go doing that. Don't do that. The black people. Don't pull the black people card on this one without having people strangers show up to our private and personal property i am i i'm just i'm 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 still in shock um thank god i called obviously my team um they fuck you mean called your team if somebody showed up to your private property, bro, that uninvited, that's trespassing. Ain't that trespassing? I don't know you from it, but in, 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 you know what I'm saying? Below that Mason Dixon, where I be at? I be fucking around below the Mason Dixon. Pull up on somebody goddamn private property if you want to trespass and uninvited. Ask the baby what can happen to him. Burn they motherfucking ass. What are you talking about? So you done bought out, you done bought this big ass house and you ain't bought you no gun? What the fuck is you scared for on your own property? Ain't nobody gonna ever scare me on my own property where I pay the goddamn mortgage, where I'm paying the taxes on the land, where I'm paying property taxes. No, you're not gonna goddamn frighten or fret me. Especially if I'm below that goddamn Mason Dixon. I don't know how they rocking in other states, but you goddamn trespassing on, get the trespassing around here you want to. Burn your dumb ass. You on here capping big time, lady. I said I wasn't going to stop the shit again. I couldn't help it. I'm sorry. Thank God for, for community, for black community, for black movement community here in Los Angeles. Um, I just, I just really, really like, y'all, I really need my family to be safe. I need to be safe. I need my child to be safe. And this, this, what happened this morning is not safety. It's not what I deserve. It's not what any of us deserve. So just be diligent when you see shit in the media. And you see shit that's being talked about. Please be diligent because they are purposefully doing this. I uh, she don't want to cuss in there when you see shit. When you see, bitch, you sound like me now, man. This lady full of shit, bro. What y'all think, bro? What y'all think? What y'all think? Drop it in the comments. This lady full of shit or no? I say she full of shit, bro. They are purposefully building a wedge between black people, 
because they know that when we are together, we're stronger and they've seen what we've done. I said up with decade. a bullshit. They've seen what we've done. And so they're literally trying to destroy us. They're trying. Bro, that no, 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 bitch, you no, 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 no. You and that BLM Foundation ran up all that money and goddamn people want to know what the hell, what, what's up with it, man? Where the bread going? What are you doing with it? Motherfuckers want to know. I want to know. Shit, I'm pretty sure anybody who watching this video want to know. But you on here crying instead of. Like, yeah, we got this, this going, this, that, and place. I'm doing the work here and here and there. We got this foundation, that foundation. You ain't, you ain't debunking none of the allegations that people are throwing at you. You just calling on for motherfucking so-called black people, which I already know ain't no black people supporting your ass. It's a whole bunch of motherfucking white people. It's definitely a, a, a bunch of white people who probably feel, you know what I'm saying, probably feel guilty for their ancestors. You know what I mean? You know you you know the kind that you know what I mean they ain't racist a little bit. God bless them white people. God bless them white people who ain't racist at all. They understand that they ancestors and forefathers full of shit and on bullshit. So they just wanna help. You know what I'm saying? But you got a lady like this. You got a lady like this screaming all this Black Lives Matter shit and, and all the white people who just wanna help, they gonna listen to her ass, donate all their motherfucking bread and she done ran off on the hills. Now she getting called out about it. And now you crying. Oh, my community. All this. When you see the bullshit about me, it's not true. Yo, bitch, it's all true. You ain't about shit, man. I hope the people watching this can goddamn got a little bit of sense. It's some bullshit. Hold on, let me scan through the rest of the shit. Did Candace Owens actually pull up to the live or no? Nah, she did. She did. She just pulled up to the woman in real life. Then the woman hopped online and started crying and got down bullshit. Hold on. Let me get Ryan back right here. Let me see. What else you finna say? And it's, it's impacting our personal and everyday lives. So I love y'all a lot. Um, I'm going to keep doing my work to be accountable and be in right relationship. Man, you just said the same motherfucking thing the whole video. Take some of that money that got down. You stole from these folks and take that shit to a hair salon. Bitch, you look goofy as fuck out here in these streets. I don't fuck ass tears, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Get your motherfucking head worked on. Rest in peace, Kevin Samuels. He could probably tell you how to fix that shit. I ain't got no answers for your motherfucking ass. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I'm glad I didn't drop that. I'm glad I didn't roast Kevin Samuels. Boy, I'd be feeling like an asshole right about now if I did. I would damn sure I would think about it, but Kevin Samuels would definitely tell you goddamn uh, shit, bitch. Hop off live, man. Stop telling these folks. Stop stealing these folks money or <laughs> put that shit to better use into yourself or something. You a goofy as fuck out here. Fucking clown. OG's oh, youngest. That one's new one was like, hit that motherfucker like button, bruh. I'm out there, be. Mop.